Welcome back to Learn Computational Chemistry with Ali Sudes. Let's talk about the Foucault function. So we're going to talk about Foucault function. What Foucault function is and why do we use Foucault function? Foucault function. So I'm going to tell you that what Foucault function is and why do we use Foucault function and why the name Foucault function is stemmed in here. The first thing is what Foucault function is. Keep remember Foucault function is used for the local reactivity site. Local reactivity site. Okay, so we, if we want to identify the local reactivity site, what do you mean by the local reactivity site? There are two kind of local reactivity sites. One is nucleophilic site, nucleophilic site, and the other is electrophilic site. If you want to find the local reactivity site, that is nucleophilic or electrophilic, electrophilic then the Foucault function is used. The Foucault function you know that it is you actually it involves the electron transfer electron transfer for example there is a nucleophile definitely the electrons will be transferred from the nucleophile to the electrophile and when there is electrophile the electron will transfer to the site of electrophilic. Now the electrophilic site will gain the what the electrons. Now the definition is like we represent the Foucault function with F and R with this one and we can define is like the Foucault function is equal to we take it is like this R divided by delta N so the definition is you like you can define from here we can define as the Foucault function is denoted by F R and it is defined as the differential change in the charge so the differential change in electron density this is electron density due to infinitesimal change in the and the number of electrons so now we the this one is the electron density electron density and the n in here in in here is the number of electrons this is number of electrons okay so we can write the n as the n is equal to rho into r dr this is we can define as like this is the Foucault function the Foucault function now you can see I will say the definition again and you can understand what the definition is Okay, so this is the FR we can represent the Foucault function with this one and then you can say that the differential change, the differential change in the electron density due to the infinitesimal change in the number of electrons is called the Foucault function. Now why is it called the Foucault function? So this is called the Foucault function as the electron, you know that the electrons are added, are added or removed. So when the electrons are added or removed, they go to the Foucault function. Foucault, and you know that the Foucault function means they go to the frontier orbitals. I don't know what the frontier orbital is. Do you know what the frontier orbital is? So the, the frontier or Foucault orbitals, the, or they are the homo highest occupied molecular orbital or the LOMO lowest unoccupied molecular orbital. Got it? So this is actually the Foucault function. The Foucault function, the Foucault function actually identifies the local reactivity site that is nucleophilic or electrophilic site. So the of molecules, the local reactivity side of the local reactivity side that is electrophilic or nucleophilic electrophilic or nucleophilic site of molecule in a reaction where the electron transfer is involved okay so in the reaction when the electron transfer is involved we need these two sites like nucleophilic for the reaction and the electrophilic site for the reaction now we can define the Foucault function as 
that is it can divide it can be it can be defined as the change so we call it the differential change in the electron density due to the infinitesimal change in the number of electrons so i told you that the number of the name the name for Foucault function is due to what electrons are added or removed the electrons which are added or removed they are actually they go to the frontier orbital or Foucault orbitals and there are homo and lomo now you know that the that the this one is electron density and this is the number of electrons which is equal to what which is equal to this one n is equal to rho r dr okay now there are three equations for the Foucault functions one is for the electrophile like we know we, we want to know about the electrophilic site the nucleophilic site and the radical site so where the nucleophile will attack where the electrophile will attack where the free radical the radical will attack now we need these sites how can we know those sites so let's write the three equations which are very important to know for the Foucault function okay so now you know that we want to, if we want to identify the local reactivity site of the nucleophile of molecule that is nucleophilic or electrophilic site in a chemical reaction we use the Foucault function okay now for for example the first one so F plus K it means that this is electrophile so for the electrophile, what we do is we write Q K into N plus 1 minus N. But you have to write Q K before it. Sorry for this. And N. This is what? Now this is electrophilic side. It means that this is for the nucleophilic attack. For what? For nucleophilic attack. Oh. Nucleophile will attack in here, okay? So what, what about the F minus K? So what do you think? F minus K means the nucleophilic site. So if there is a nucleophilic site, the electrophile will attack in there. So there is, we, we're gonna write it is like this. Q, K, N minus, Q, K, N minus one. Now you see, this is the nucleophilic site. So what do you mean? What, what do you think? This is for the electrophilic attack. This is for the electrophilic attack. Ah, electrophile will attack where? Where the F minus K is larger. Let me write the last one. And this one is for the what? We write like this. So we write it for like this for the radical attack. So we write half before because in the free radical we use one electron. So in one electron we will write half and half is equal to QK enter N plus 1 minus N minus 1. But you have to write the QK in here as well. The QK is here as well and then L. So this is what? This is for the radical attack. For example, there is one electron, so radical can attack in here. So this is the site of radical attack. Oh, this is the radical attack site. Okay. Now, if you see to these equations, you can understand that you can easily understand that, for example, when a molecule accepts electron, the molecules will accept electron or donate electron, right? When the molecule will accept electron, so it will go to the site where F plus K is large it will donate electron it will give electron from the site where f minus k is large do you understand this point okay so when a molecule accepts electrons the electrons tend to the electrons tend to tend to go to the place where the f plus k this place is large okay and you know that this is the location or this is the site where the molecule is most able to stabilize additional electrons okay so this is the site where the molecule can stabilize the additional electrons and when there are for example similarly a molecule uh, which is susceptible to uh, electrophilic attack this is for the electrophilic attack so it means that it will give electrons to that electrophile so the electrophilic attack so do you know that the it will go to the place where f minus k is large so you know that 
Why? Because if minus k is large and there's the, the regions where the if minus k is large, so this is the region where removal destabilizes the molecule the least, right? So these are the three equations you have to understand. If you want to clear more your concept, so I'm going to write one that uh, uh, we're going to take a molecule with uh, an atom and in number of electrons and then you can understand that if, for example, the same thing, I'm going to write it in here for a molecule M and having electrophilicity, for example, I want to write the first one, electrophilicity. Electrophilicity for what? Electrophilicity, for example, of an atom. For example, we have an atom A, sorry, an atom A. So we have an atom A in a molecule M, in a molecule M, and they have the electrons, number of electrons N. The same thing we're going to write. But in here, we're going to write, for example, we're going to write for the A, we'll write F plus A. Instead of QK, in here, we were going to write the A. And then, move towards the PA. N plus 1 minus N. But you're going to write the PA in here as well. Now, this is for the nucleophilic attack. Because the electrons will move towards the, go to the region where the F plus A is maximum. Now for the F minus A, we're going to write the same thing, for example, N minus P A, N minus 1, and this one. This is for what? This is for the electrophilic attack. So the electrophilic attack will be at the site where F minus A is maximum because it will destabilize that molecule least the, by the removal of electrons. Okay, what if what about the free radical? If you want to go for the free radical, you're going to write the same thing. A is equal to, we're going to write this not thing for that. And then we're going to write the half. Maybe you remember, before we write, we wrote the half. So we're going to write the half. And when we go write the half, it means that we will write P A N plus 1 minus P A N minus 1. And then we're going to, this whole will be half. Okay, so this is for what? This is for the radical attack, this is for the uh, electrophilic attack, and this is for the nucleophilic attack. This is all for the, uh, this is all about the Foucault function today. We're going to talk about the Foucault function. How can you do it theoretically? How, to, how can you do it computationally? I'm going to take a cup of tea, coffee, and then we're going to talk about something else too. See you with the next video. Allah Hafiz.